So, quick introduction. My name is Mike. Hobbies include playing piano and wildlife photography, though only one of which is relevant right now. I've played the piano for over 10 years, though if you were only to count the months I've actually touched the piano, that number would probably drop down to five. Furthermore, I've never actually taken any piano lessons and rely mostly on rote memorization and muscle memory with absolutely no knowledge of music theory to learn the pieces I'm interested in. So not a very glowing resume for someone building their own custom piano. But what can I say? I was always more of a math and technology kind of guy than art and music, which is ironic in a way considering that both my hobbies lean towards the latter. Anyway, around a year ago, uh, two events coincided. First of all, a trip to the piano shop um, resulted in me falling in love with the feel of uh, grand piano action to the point that I was this close to buying a used Yamaha Avant Grand digital piano with fully realistic grand piano action for around eight grand, something I probably would have done if it wasn't for event number two. Uh, in a bid to graduate from the muscle memory approach to music, I dived back into music theory lessons and, you know, the first piano lesson books, along with practicing scales, Hanan, and similar exercises. It was during this process that I stumbled across an interesting YouTube video, which described the structure of chords and scales on a more a mathematical approach, which eventually led me to isomorphic keyboards. And finally to the Yanko piano. Uh, in the end, I tried to get my hands on a Yanko style digital piano, found that the only options really are a Japanese based uh, Mudo keyboard, which is more of an electric keyboard than a digital piano, not to mention no longer being produced. So its availability could be summed up as uh, appears on eBay every couple months. Uh, the other option was the uh, Duskin keyboard, which while being more in line with what I was looking for, appears to have never gone beyond the coming soon stage of development. Well, being a technologically minded person that I am, the solution to this was pretty obvious. If there isn't a product on the market that I want, I just have to design and build it myself. So with a 3D printer by my side and professional CAD software experience, I figured this would be the better option than buckling down and simply practicing the piano. Plus, <laughs> I was kind of in too deep into the uh, isomorphic keyboard layout rabbit hole to back out now. So that ends the introduction to this project. As of the moment, I'm working on making the parts necessary to put it all together. Having finished the iterative design process and having gotten a few piano technicians to judge the action with quite positive results and a request to come back with the finished build. Next few videos will cover the isomorphic keyboard layout and the Yanko keyboard in specific, the Hickman action and its comparison to the grand piano action and the regular digital piano actions, and the design and prototyping of the piano. After that, I'll figure it out as I go along. Probably cover the internal sensors for sense and key presses, the microcontrollers and the software running all that, the mini computer running the VST, the actual assembly process, and maybe even a time lapse of the full build. Uh, going to have to visit the piano technician and get some live comments on the finished build. And then finally, uh, videos of me practicing and learning pieces on it as an ongoing project. Well, thanks for sticking around and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye.